Welcome once again to Life Tips with Dark J. The life tip for today is, well, if you're gonna store wood, you probably shouldn't block in all of your vehicles. I mean, that's gonna take forever to dig that truck out, right? I mean, look at all this wood. That's crazy. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it, it just goes on and on and on. You know what, this, this, it, 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 okay, yep, yep, that's a lot of wood. What's up guys, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2. So guys, um, if you guys remember last time, we started working on um, our impenetrable vault. Okay, oh, it says, I'm a fan, thank you. Thank you, thank you for that, thank you. All right, so we were start working on our impenetrable vault. Well, guys, we have about uh, 30 minutes or well, or so um, to kind of do this before Code gets done with his live stream, and then he's gonna come in here and he's gonna test the impenetrability of our vault. That's right, so we literally need to um, use we need to make the door, okay? So we, uh, we've we only got a little bit left to do. We've got to finish a little bit on a roof, which isn't much, and then we've got to put in the door. Okay, so as you guys remember, um, from the last episode, we were working on the outside. The outside of the vault is done. So the only thing left now is the door and the roof. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting all of this stuff down here to, um, to get this door ready. And... Um, Big shout out to everybody that's in here right now. Austin Liss, uh, Speaker Geek, LOL. <laughs> and uh, Officer Freeman. Officer Freeman. He says, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, I am recording. Yes, I am recording. All right, so guys, I've got to get the rest of this in here, and we're going to build this door. And then uh, after we get the door built, we'll get Code Prime in here. All right, he wants a screenshot. He wants a screenshot. And he got a screeny. And you know what? Let's get a screenshot of this, too. Prince Green. Amazing viewers. Screenshots saved. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for being awesome viewers. You guys are so cool. So freaking cool. Okay, I need that last... Uh, um, I need this. I need this right here. Okay. And we're just going to put that there. We need all four of those. So it's going to take four. We're going to do it kind of like this door here. Um, except not... Fully, we're gonna do other stuff as well. Um, I I might need to go across the bridge. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we need to go up here. Okay, and boom, and T R R rotate. All right, so if we're inside here, okay, um. So you gotta think of how I wanna do this. Okay, so it's gonna come down like that. Right? Okay, so we're gonna put it here. There we go. That's one right there. Alright. And then we're gonna put another one like right on top of it. Oops. Oops! That happened. Okay, so so we're gonna put this one right here. Oh, oh! If I can, if I can zoom in. Oh no! Oh no! I the blue butts. The blue butts is back. Oh no! Oh wait! Don't tell me I didn't make the height right. Oh no! Oh no! Guys, I totally messed up. I didn't make the height right. 
Hold on. I think I can fix this, though. I'm pretty sure I can fix this just by removing that. Okay, so... I'm going to throw this down there for now. Okay. Alright, so we're going to actually put this right up above this one. Right there. Okay. There's a gap above there, but I feel like I can I can cover it. I'll, I'll cover that. I will cover the gap. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we will cover the gap. But... All right, so here, here we go. We're gonna go um, right like that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, guys! Oh no! Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna need some more posts so we can close the gap on this. Oh man. Because I'm trying to get this in here, but it's just not wanting to do what I want it to do. I need I need to face the blue butt once again. The blue butt. Blue butt, go away. Please, please go away, blue butt. The blue butt takes a while to go away. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It takes a while to go away. It really does. I'm not 100% sure why it takes so long to go away. Okay, hey, hey, okay, you know what? You just... Okay, uh, why? Okay, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, uh, I should have measured this out beforehand. Okay, so T, R, Oh wait, what? T? T? R? No, R. T? R? T? There we go, alright. Alright, so we're gonna put this one right... Can I put it in more? Right down there. Boom! All right, so that should help. All right, man, I'm really hoping this doesn't uh, um, compromise the integrity of my of my uh, uh, my setup here. Um, T, there we go. Wait, oh no, dang it! There we go. Okay, so now I should be able to. Right there. Boom. All right. So now I need to. I'm gonna put this right there. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to. Oh no. It's kind of in a bit. It's not very even. Oh, you know what? Okay. This. Will, oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. T T R T There we go. Okay. We're going to put this here. All right. There we go. All right. We're definitely going to get this all all figured out here. We're going to get it nice and tidy looking. Um because I I mean obviously the functions the most important with this, but because it's going to be impenetrable. Cause that's what that's what we're going for is impenetrable. As long as Code Prime can't get into it, then we are a okay. So that is what we're gonna try to do. Um, we're gonna make this impenetrable, and then once Code Prime gets done with his live stream again, we will get him in here. Um, R. There we go. And boom. Okay, so I definitely need some more of those. And then we'll start hooking up the wires. And we will have this all set up. All set up.
And there we go. Boom. All right. Big shout out to Roblox Shaw, uh, 17th the second. Um, they're super awesome. Super awesome. So, guys, we need to make one more, I think, one more post. Okay. And then um, this should fill out what we need to do here. So, let's be done. Done that. Okay. Okay. And let's take this up top now. Oh, it's getting dark out. That's not what we wanted. For it to be dark and not be able to see what's going on here. Okay, so boom, right there. Okay, so that should line up with the other side here. It looks like it does. Okay, it looks like it lines up pretty good with the other side. I don't see any way to glitch into it. All right, so now we got to go get wires, and we're going to make a switch. I don't know. I got to double check the roof to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think I'm good for the most part. I just, I, I can't, I don't remember. I don't remember, but it's got to become daylight for me to really test it. Because as soon as uh, um, it becomes daylight, I'll be able to see this a little bit more. We'll be able to get this uh, handle on here. And guys, I think we will have the impenetrable vault that we've been seeking the entire time. The place where we can keep all of our, our massive pile of eyeballs and end times axes and all the, um, all the important valuable things that you guys keep donating to me. And, uh, um, and we will make sure that Code Prime is not able to break into said vault. All right, so we gotta get all the wire over here. Once we get all the wire over here, we'll get uh, um, we'll get the switch, and we'll get it all hooked up. And um, I wanted to kind of put like two glass doors on the outside of the um, of the hatch doors that I have, but I don't know if ooh, oh thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Super awesome. Thank you, Roblox Shaw. 17th the second. Thank you so much for that. All right. Cool. Let's set this right here for now. That is super, super cool. Thank you. I always appreciate all the gifts that you guys give me. It's super awesome. I have a nice collection of gifts, as you guys can see. And I definitely needed um, to create a vault of some sort to put them in. Like the the most expensive things. Anyway, at least the eyeballs and the end times axes, because those are the things that uh, every so often you'll get that one person in your server. You look over and they're just sort of using an axe to push those items off of your base and onto their base. Yeah, yeah, those people. So, so guys, it is okay. We we still got we still got some time here to make this. Um, I'm probably gonna you know jump cut a lot of this, but that's all in the name of science. Da 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 science. Da 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 science. And F. Okay, so this should work. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Oh, yes, we do have a gap in the ceiling. Okay, so since we have a gap in the ceiling, we need to put another post. All right, and let's bring, let's slice a piece of wood. Okay, so we'll just get a little segment here of this wood. And then we're going to put it in the blueprint. And then after we put it in a blueprint here, we should be able to f put that on the roof. And I believe I should be confident enough to where Code Prime will not be able to break into it. Um, although I got to check it for other holes. I got to check it for other holes. All right. I don't see any other holes. And E. Boom. I think that's good. I think that is good, guys. Look, there's one eyeball up here already. Okay. 
The vault is closed. Okay, and I honestly do not think that code can break into here. I really don't. I really don't think you can. Because this walks up, so this isn't enough of a, of a gap to break in. Alright guys, I think I, well, I think I am mostly set here. Alright, I need to go get two glass doors and slap them on the outside and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got... <laughs> Just go! Right there. Okay, you know what? I mean, that kind of works, right? Alright, so where's the other door? Alright, so I need the second door. Alright, so I'm waiting for them to bring the second door here. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make this, and this, and this, okay. And then I'm going to whitelist Ferrazo because Ferrazo is like the coolest builder in the world. Like he he is always willing to help, and it's so awesome to to see um, somebody willing to help so much with everything that I'm doing. And I really think Code Prime's not going to be able to get into this. And actually, I think I only need two of these blueprints. I only need two. All right, so I do need I do need that second door though. They were bringing it. Where'd that second door go? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes with the second door. Okay. All right. All right. That second door is coming. Okay. He's bringing it in. He's bringing it in. All right. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to come up here. We're going to bring it up. Uh. Eh. Okay. And... Um, we're going to put it just like that and E. Look at that, guys. Okay, so now once Ferrazoro fills out those two blueprints, I can put this little top part on here, and then, and then we're going to get Code Prime in here, and we're going to have him test it. So. Oh, wait, where'd Ferrazoro? Oh, Ferrazora went to go get his axe. So guys, I will be right back once um once uh, I get these these two spots in here, and then I'll get Code Prime in here to test the impenetrable vault, and then we will truly determine whether or not it is impenetrable. Boom and boom. What? <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm back here, and I've got Code Prime with me. Hello, everyone. And we have the impenetrable vault below us right here. We are standing on its roof. <laughs> and, Code, I got a challenge for you, man. I heard. I heard there was a challenge. Um, what am I supposed to do again? Your challenge is to try and get inside of this vault without being whitelisted. Any method possible? Any method possible besides, um, like, well, you can use, like, wall glitches, but not, like, you know what I mean, like, exploits or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> can he do it? So I'll try the standards. That's not All right. Coming. Okay. I'm in. All right. <laughs> Something tells me the hatches are a little bit harder than the glass doors, though. Come on. Come on, come on, get it, get it. Are these the back sides of the, uh... Oh, no. It's just far enough out at an angle that I can't catch it. <laughs> all right, all right. Silly. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, Austin. Face plant that hatch for me. Please. <laughs> oh, using the fans. <laughs> using the fans. <laughs> oh, man. So cheap. <laughs> All right. There I go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> used another person. 
<laughs> Can you get back out now? Um, oh. oh, they let you out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the prize is an eyeball. There's no way I could actually get back out with it. So uh, go ahead and yeah. go ahead and shut them all down. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I was uh, actually a little worried there. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Hatches are no joke. Probably safest to, to do. All right. Um, do you want to close the doors? Closing them. <laughs> All right. Let's see. For the next trick, can Pro Code Prime get out of the vault? And so wink. so oh. would you say, without the fans here, would you have been able to get in there I would say no just because all right I'm out <laughs> 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 took took me a little ways to get down uh, without an additional person no I don't think I could get through just because there's um the way that you've got the the two layers like that mm -hmm. really hard to get through now, but you definitely definitely couldn't get back out with the items in it. Right. The items inside would be secure, um, except for somebody glitching them out. Right, right, you know, ex exploits or whatever. Oh, oh, oh gosh. All right. Um, one other thing is be careful when you're building things that you don't think would normally be um, glitchable. Because mm -hmm. if I can get my body to stay within... Boom. Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> you flew forward a bit there. If I can if I can get myself to stay within the confines of the camera. No, that's not working. Then yeah. you can glitch through most things. Alright, that didn't have an angle on it. Oh gosh. Itchy nose. <laughs> Ooh. So yeah, at least at least I can say though that the items in it would be secure. So that's that's that was the goal of the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, Code did get inside <laughs> it with the with the help of the fans. <laughs> Thank shout out to uh, Austinless. Thank you for uh, face planting for me. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a beautiful face plant there, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> if it were the Olympics, I'd give it a ten. Definitely a ten. Um, ten out of ten, definitely. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this edge right here, this isn't this is an easy gap to. Oops, <laughs> as, I, as I messed that up. Boink. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to get through the glass doors. Now the hatches. It was the hatches that I spent the most time on. Oh, I know, I know <laughs> this is just possible because I've gone through flat walls before. I wonder if that. It may. Matter. It may also have to do well. I. With the wire on the bottom. Mm hmm. Just lifted me up just a little bit to mess me up. Yep. Oop. I'm still trying, though. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy looking. <laughs> almost, almost. Come on, get it. Oh, no. I'm translucing the wall. Go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use a fan again. He's trying. And, oh. oh no, that didn't work. Hold on. <laughs> All right, stand, stand, stand still, Austin. It's your fault, Austin. Hold, hold still, sir. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> he's at a wrong angle. All right, you need to come over, son. Okay, wait here. I'll use the Doge, the Doge trick, oldest Doge trick <laughs> the in the book. Trick. And boop, I'm in. <laughs> nice. I love it. <laughs> love it. Uh, my last resort was I was actually going to go down and buy one of the uh, shabby mills, <laughs> place it up against one of the walls, open it, oh, stand where it was, that. and then, then hit B on it. <laughs> oh man, yeah that that might have that might have worked. Although with the glass doors closed oh. and getting the shabby oh. mill on the inside of them. That was that was part of the point of the glass doors too, as I knew people could probably get in through the glass doors, but getting an item so that they could glitch to have that seam to glitch through <laughs> through yeah. the glass doors was another story. So awesome. Well uh, So it may got some, got something <laughs> awesome for you. 
What's up? I didn't, what do you got? I didn't start recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, we're recording now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, let me close let me close this uh close this up here. <laughs> closed. Closed. So it is closed. Just take me around one more time. How did you build everything up? All right, so basically um, there was four walls and a roof. Now I built um, horizontal walls to go alongside the outsides. So that way um, one person couldn't find a seam against a solid wall. And mm -hmm. um, I built hatches for the main door on the inside with wires running along the outside. So that way there isn't a clear edge. And if you were to try to glitch into the center of it the bottom wire kind of lifts you up a bit kind of screws that up also um, I have glass doors on the outside so that way somebody that's not whitelisted wouldn't be able to open them and put a item in there to use to glitch against to get inside um is this gap wide enough no you've got it blocked by the wires as well okay yep boink uh, oh no that didn't work try that there we go i'm on the inside okay need a fan need a fan please <laughs> fan over here i've done this like three times already on his video um but you guys didn't get to see it from my angle i wanted to at least get footage of it um but now here's the thing if i don't waitlist anybody can you get another fan to glitch in there <laughs> with you uh maybe Come on, Austin. I know you've watched my videos. Good oh, job, Austin. Oh, he glitched in there with you. Good okay, job, Okay, he's got a fan in there with you. And now I'm going to glitch off the... Ooh, do you see that? I just pushed him down. I'm actually going to glitch <laughs> off the back of the fan. Boink. Oh, no, that didn't work. All right. Oh, I moved him off to the side. Okay. All right, hold still, Austin. Doop. And... Boom. Oh no, I didn't. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. Please, Austin. You <laughs> found me. Austin. Now, guys, I have seen him Ooh. do this. Um, there it goes. I did <laughs> see him do it earlier, but now the problem is he can't get back up. Yeah, there's, there's no way to take the item and actually like get it out or anything like that. Now, I could be just a jerk and get myself up here like this come on and reset Ooh. wait did you where'd, where'd you go I just moved it oh, oh no but I lost my axe oh they're all on top of the vault too <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay they're laying so, up yeah. here perfectly <laughs> like perfectly the three of them right you got three axes wait, are they are they like standing on end no, they are uh, laying flat on top of the roof of the vault. I was going to say, uh, like a bottle flip. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then do a dab. <laughs> yeah, and then do a dab. But I am satisfied with the results of that. Even though Code was able to get in with the help of a fan, he was not able to get out with an item, so that makes this um, impenetrable enough to protect my items. So that is awesome. So if you guys wanted to use a design like this, it will keep your items safe. So that was the whole idea here. And thank you to Code for testing that, because... You're, you're welcome. <laughs> and um, Co just an insider tip, if you put chairs all around the outside edge... Mm -hmm. I can't touch any of the walls. I'll end up sitting down every single time I try and glitch through a wall. Oh, really? Mm hmm Huh. So, figured that out whenever I was doing the chair elevator. <laughs> nice. So, very cool. Oh, wait, I got a fire axe in there. Can I get my fire axe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you notice that your eyeball has moved? Yes, you moved it to the corner. I see mm -hmm. that. Nice. Zoop. Oh. <laughs> you opened the glass door and I slammed my face into the one that's shut. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like a bird. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped. Oh. 
All right. So that was I, – I, I consider that a success. And thank you, Code, for coming and testing it out because you are that one person that if anybody could, could do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can always rely on me to mess something up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, everybody wants a screenshot. Yeah, screenshots. Screenshots. Screenshot. Awesome. Got a nice screenshot. There we go. Uh, how much time you got left on the vid? That is actually um, it for me. Um, I know if you want to continue recording, we can keep uh, we can keep playing. But I am going to close out right now and do my outro. Go for it. So, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you're just new to my channel. And as always, stay awesome. I'm Dark J. I'm Code Primate. And I'm out. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Out of here. Get away from my raft. Stop trying to break my raft. Dig Dug got me back, guys. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's, that's horrifying.